I am super pumped because I am interviewing our internal team. I've got our director of technology, Jacob Gibbs, joining me to provide you guys with a demo of how to do different mortgage strategies in our new advice engine. What's up, Jacob? Good morning, Dave. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for having me on the call today. Uh, looking forward to uh, crushing some good, good strategies that have been shared with us. Can't wait to teach you how to do them. Yeah, no, I can't wait. I can't wait to do it. And we also have our vice president of strategy, Don Sheshabarin. Good morning, Don, coming to us from Dallas, right? Good morning, Mortgage Coach community. Yes, I am in Dallas. And finally, we're past the rains and we actually have Dallas weather. Love it. So, so Don leads our marketing team, our sales team, has a, a voice. It helps us get voice of customers. So we create a great product. Uh, Don, if you could help Jacob and I get as much engagement from the audience. And when people do give us questions in our Facebook group, uh, interrupt us and, and we want to get as much engagement as we can. Sound good? Can do. For sure. All right. All right. So to kick things off, I've got a keynote I want to take everybody through. Uh, but before I do that, I want to recognize a few things in the Mortgage Coach Facebook group. Uh, first, I want to kick it off by recognizing Michelle Mason. She was the winner of last month's Mortgage Coach Challenge. Uh, I threw a challenge out there for transformational examples of a total cost analysis going from price, going from advice and actually giving people a transformational value over time. So Michelle crushed it. If you didn't see this, check it out. Uh, I announced her as a winner in comments and she's gonna get some coaching from some of the best um, speaking coaches, video coaches in the mortgage coach community. So check that out. Also, I want to announce the July challenge. The July challenge we're calling the best testimonial challenge. And I was able to get a lot of free prizes for anybody who wins this. So for the winner, you're going to get an Apple Watch from Social Survey. You're going to get an iPad, Apple iPad from Mortgage Coach. You're going to get a, a, some AirPods donated from West, a division of uh, WFG Title. And Brittany Hodak is going to do a private consultation for you. So the winner gets a lot. And it's pretty simple. All you need to do is advertise, promote one of your testimonials or online reviews on social media, share it in our group with the tag testimonial. And the four judges, you can read the details for who the four judges are. We are gonna vote on who, gets the, who, who did the best job and the winner takes off. Whoever does the best testimonial wins. So I wanted to cover that real quick. Also, I interviewed uh, Denise Donahue yesterday. This interview was ridiculous. The way she is using our rent versus own to get leads of first time home buyers that she can take back to her realtors. I mean, it's just a great, great example of how to use mortgage coach to not only convert more families and win more business, but to generate more leads for your agents. So great leadership from Denise. Got to check this out if you want more leads. Also, you need to check out Friday's interview with uh, Dan Keller. I was not on that call but uh, it was led by Todd Bookspan and Dan Keller. And they did a 20 minute riff on strategies to get the most refis from your past customer database right now. So if you just wanna to listen to 20 minutes of content on how to crush it with past clients, check this out. Uh, great example of how you can promote Mortgage Coach and use it on social media, check this out. And then last but not least, I'm still loving this picture from Katie Pastor and it's still the best example of a mortgage coach member that kills it with mortgage coach promoting and sharing how much she loves our new advice engine and so we're going to focus a lot of the call on this and katie thank you for your leadership on that so so i am going to transition now and i'm going to do about a 10 minute keynote presentation on the mortgage coach manifesto and it's all about going all in with mortgage coach i'm going to assume that everybody on this call knows what mortgage coach is uh, and by the way, Don, you might want to mute yourself when you're not talking just because it pops the camera up when you do. Uh, but I want to ask you guys a poll question before I kick off this keynote. I want to know, oops, wrong poll question. Uh, hang on one sec. I want to ask you how often and what percentage of your families are getting a total cost analysis. So if you're on this call right now and you just watch our videos, and you participate in our community, 
We're, we love having you here. No worries. Just let us know that no, I don't use Mortgage Coach. Uh, if you use it on less than 50% of the folks, so you use it when you get rate shot, click 50%. If you use it more than 50%, you're committed to advice, but you're just not all in yet, check that. And again, if you're all in and you bought into this fact that every family deserves a total cost analysis, and, and this is how I maximize my success, vote for the last one. So, so guys, I know how many people are on this call. I can see how many people are voting. So let's try to get most of you voting. And, and awesome, it looks like a very good percentage of you guys are all in. Uh, there's a good percent that aren't even on the team yet. So cool, thank you for participating in that poll. That's gonna help me uh, tailor this keynote just a little bit. And with that said, I'm gonna do about a 10 minute keynote and then I'm gonna bring in Jacob. Uh, Jacob, can you confirm that you can see my screen? Yep, I got it. We're looking at the Mortgage Coach Manifesto. Beautiful. So, so I am going to make the case right now why every single family should get a total cost analysis. And, and part of that is because it's good for you. I do believe that technology companies and disruptors are not your biggest enemy, but I do believe that loan officers that leverage technology will absolutely take your market share. So there's a good reason for you. Now, here's a good reason from a consumer's perspective. Like, who are today's consumers and what do they expect? And if you're a loan officer, these are your two customers, borrowers and realtors. And, and, and here's what they expect, you know, and this is what they're doing. They're taking lots of pictures with their mobile phones. They expect to be able to get value from their mobile device. They expect to get service through their mobile device. And let's face it, when you look at how today's consumers are doing life, they're buying lots of things on Amazon. They have an expectation to make things Amazon simple. They expect when it comes to financial services, they've got big bank apps or whoever they're doing banking with, they have an app. If they have teenagers, they know how to transfer money within a matter of seconds. They are communicating with friends and family members and business colleagues on mobile phones. And, and, and what's the most popular app? People are using maps to find their way to get guidance, to get advice. That's what they're doing. And let's face it, they're using mobile apps to get rides. You know, everybody's either used this or knows someone who's used it. And yes, they're getting entertained. And if they're buying a home, they're finding their home, they're researching their home. And now that Zillow owns a mortgage company, they are rate shopping 24 seven. The question is, are they grinding you? So, so if you wanna be the obvious choice, you gotta give consumers what they want. And they want convenience, they want value, they expect quality, the reward quality. They want immediate now everything. They want it to be localized. So localization, personal or choices, they want options. And, and by the way, they don't want too many options. They, they want you to you know, give them two, three options that make most sense. So they want advice. They want personalization. They, they want accessibility 24 seven all the time. And, and of course, they want affordability. So these are the key concepts that if you wanna be the obvious choice, every time you meet with a family, every time you're delivering value, check the boxes. And, and, and let's face it, most of the time now, when I talk to top loan officers, their families are filling out apps online. You know, most loan officers are not taking a handwritten app anymore. You know, and most consumers, whether they have checked out Rocket or not, They've seen the commercials, but getting this concept that I can apply for a mortgage, push a button and get a mortgage. We all know that's not true. But so here's the deal. And this is where I really make the mortgage coach why, as to why every single family should get this total cost analysis. And it's really simple. Most loan officers, this is what they're delivering at the point of sale. You know, and, and let's face it, not much has changed in 10 years. Most loan officers were delivering the same thing 10 years ago. In fact, they were delivering the same thing, you know, in 1999. They were delivering the same thing in the 80s. You know, now we have had an innovation from the 70s, you know, we aren't delivering rates and fees on yellow sheets of paper. Well, maybe some loan officers are, but if you want to elevate your game, you need to go from I deliver fee worksheets, yellow pads, to delivering consumers what they want, the way they want it. And this is where I make the case for Mortgage Coach. Mortgage Coach 
is, is options on a mobile device, on whatever device the client wants. They're making choices. And if you listen to that interview from Denise Donahue, she talks about how I give people choices, you know, I give them advice. And when they pick the loan that's right for them in my platform, game over. You know, families, this is the first time home buyer in a Pete's coffee shop. They want accessibility 24 seven, anytime and everywhere. They want immediacy. Within the Mortgage Coach Total Cost Analysis, there is an apply now button. So we talked about that in the interview with Denise Donahue. If they come into your office, they still want personalization. They'll reward you for personalization. And, and here's a great quote. And I think one of the reasons why Kelly Zitlow is all in with Mortgage Coach, because she has a mission to deliver honest, well-communicated, knowledge-based living experience. And Mortgage Coach powers that. So, so one thing I would ask everybody, if you're not all in, is write down like, what is your mission to deliver a family? Is it just the lowest possible rate, as fast as possible? That may not lead you to using mortgage coach with every family. So audit and edit your, your why, like what is your mortgage why? This is Jay Crowell, $80 million producer, regional leader in, in Seattle. He is delivering localized value you know, he is an advisor. He sees himself as an advisor. And so mortgage coach is the way that he delivers advice to each and every client. You know, Jeremy Forcia, who I've interviewed countless times, $100 million, five straight years. And why does he use mortgage coach? Because he closes more loans and it saves him time. Really simple. He believes that giving a mortgage coach experience versus a fee worksheet experience is just more loans, saves me time. So, so I would just ask everybody on this call, what is your mortgage coach? Why? And if you're not all in and delivering it to each and every client, you need to edit that. Why? If you're a branch manager on this call and you have loan officers that are not delivering the most quality experience and they're not getting the results they want, think about helping them update their why. Talk about how helping them, you know, build the mortgage coach. Why? So, so guys, here's another reason why you should go all in and each and every family should get a total cost analysis because the world in the mortgage business is changing fast. So, so this is what the competitive landscape looked like um, two years ago, or excuse me, this time last year. By the way, Don, if you could mute your phone. Um, so this is what it looked like this time last year. Right hey, now- bye. I'm already muted. I was already muted. Okay, cool. This is what the market looks like today. As you can see, there's been a massive change in the channels of competition in the mortgage space. We have gone from, you know, a few channels of competition to now Zillow's in the mortgage space, Redfin, Zillow's in the mortgage space. We're seeing brokers scale. We're seeing Amazon threat to get in the mortgage space. So there is more rate shopping, more options for families than ever before. And so there's another really good reason why each and every one of you should, um, oh, sorry about that. Why each and every one of you should go from fee worksheet to options. Go from, hey, my value proposition is I can help you close loans faster and I have great rates to something better than that. By the way, here's a key stat that the average loan officer, you know, when it comes to giving price exceptions, gives up over 18 basis points over the course of a year. You know, that, that's the amount in rate exceptions the average loan officer gives up. Again, losing 18 basis points, that doesn't even include all the loss they get because they get rate shopped and they lose the loan. So average loan officers that deliver rate sheets and fee worksheets are losing money. Whereas loan officers that are delivering a mortgage coach experience give up less than eight basis points because they're not giving three worksheets. So, so not only is there conversion, there's profit. So again, just more reasons why you should go from price to advice and go from, hey, some of my families get this D worksheet. Some of them get mortgage coach. Everybody needs to get mortgage coach. So, so one last key concept, and then I'm gonna bring in Jacob, and we're gonna demo this. This is from my interview with Amber Kovark, 
And this is just a simple down payment options, advice-based pre-approval. So every day you're on this call, you're giving pre-approvals to clients. And, and what is she doing? She's taking it beyond transaction. She's showing the cost over 60 months. She's showing the cost over 15 years. She's giving options and she's helping people make an informed decision. So let's think about that. She's checking the boxes, literally convenience, value, quality, every single thing that today's family wants are being checked through mortgage coach. So what I, what I'd like to do now is dedicate the rest of this call to Jacob pulling up um, the advice engine. And when we created this advice engine, we did it with the goal that we would help you learn to use mortgage coach faster. So Jacob will walk you through how it's faster to learn it. And then we wanted to make it faster and easier for you to give advice. So we'll call out some of the new speed tips in the new advice engine. And then we'll show you how to do about five different strategies, starting with down payment options at a pre-approval stage. All right, great. Thank you, Dave. I'm going to attempt to show my video here. I was trying to show it earlier and got booted. So I'm going to try and give that another shot here. And let me know if you're able to see me. We see you, Jacob. And we All see right. the screen. Awesome. Excellent. All right, great. So um, what we're looking at here is we're looking at the advice engine. Um, if you have not gone into the advice engine yet, you can actually very easily do that uh, by just going to where you regularly log into Mortgage Coach, get yourself logged in, and then uh, you'll see a link at the very bottom that will allow you to try the new advice engine. So I'll show you another way a little bit later in the call today, but uh, for right now, I'm going to show you something you're used to. So when you first get in here, you're going to land on the home screen. There's a link at the very bottom called try our new advice engine. When you click on this, this is automatically going to log you into the new advice engine. You're looking at the exact same uh, database as you were back in the legacy system. Uh, so if you haven't tried it yet, make sure to get over here. We're going to be, uh, we're going to be cutting over to be using this primary pretty soon. So let's focus on our down payment options. Uh, so what I've done here is I actually mirrored the same report you were just looking at from Amber. Um, and if you haven't used the new advice engine yet, one of the things that's pretty important to know in here is that we didn't change a lot of the functionality. If you understand how the legacy product worked, you understand exactly how the advice engine works. There's just new and interesting things in there that you can take advantage of to make things faster, to understand things a little bit more. Now, as you can see here, uh, the first screen of the client, it looks pretty much like what you would expect in the old one. And uh, in this case, I've just labeled this one down payment options. And then I've gone through and I've selected things like a purchase goal, I've, uh, I didn't really put anything in for affordability on here just because this is kind of a, uh, an open-ended proposal for my client. But notice when we get into the loan products here, um, the same kind of data entry uh, applies in this new version. But one of the main differences here is on the right-hand side, you can now see all of the options against each other. You can see the total loan amounts and you can see the total cash to close. This is without having to go into the preview. So this is one that our beta users uh, clamored for. We made it happen. I think you're gonna love it too. Now, what I did to create this presentation is I did just a 400K, 5% down. Then I jumped to another product and I'm literally just copying one product into the next one and then making minor alterations. In this case, I changed it to be a 450 purchase price. Change that price. Everything else within the loan products just carried through. Um, note all these tool tips in here. So if you're unsure on what a field does, just hover over it. There's going to be a tool tip there, uh, unless it's something like middle name. We didn't put a tool tip for middle name. Sorry. <laughs> now, as you keep going forward here, I've got my closing costs because I copied them from the first product here. Uh, but notice these are itemized. So just like in the legacy version, you can go into your closing cost detail. You can select templates that you have here. Um, and then you can apply the templates just like you normally would. And then once you've got your different loan products built here, you get to your analysis and you can see it looks exactly like the one we were looking at from Amber. So pretty straightforward, uh, a couple of different price options at a low down payment. Then she's showing a higher price option at a low down payment and then our regular price, but with a 20% down. So the borrower can see what the impact is of bringing extra cash in to close. Obviously the interest savings is pretty staggering when they do it that way. Um, but I, I like that she shows these kind of opposite types of
Hey, Don, did, did you lose Jacob also, or is it just me? No, I was just going to chime in and say, I don't hear Jacob anymore. All right, so Jacob, I don't know if you can hear us, Hold but on, we me... lost. Jacob, if you could ping him, I'm gonna Hi. share my screen. And uh, remember folks, this is interactive. So if you do have questions for me or for Jacob, let us know. Uh, what he is showing you right now is, is purchase options. So down payment, purchase options. Uh, what I wanna show you real quick, because I thought this was a very cool example of another example with Mortgage Coach, and we're gonna show you this feature in a minute, is where at the point of sale, pre-approval, when they got the home in escrow, you deliver your mortgage options. And then you can also, at the close of, after the close of escrow, this is an example of Brian Manning. Check out my Brian Manning interview. Where, where he is showing them prepayment options. So after he closes, within 10 days of closing, and we recommend within 30 days, create a total cost analysis saying, hey, here's the loan that you got. And if you paid an extra 100, an extra 200, an extra 300, an extra 400, how, how much interest would you save? How much faster would you build up your equity? So we're gonna go through a couple purchase example options with Jacob, we're gonna do down payment, He'll be back in a minute. And then we're going to show you um, um, interest rate options. And then we will come to this example and show this to you. Hey, hey, Don, any, any questions come in from the community yet? No, nobody's coming in yet. Uh, we did just get a post from Jacob that he keeps getting booted for some reason. So um, we're trying to figure out why that is. So Marcy, if you could uh, try to help him out on that. And while we are waiting for Jacob, I had some other things that I was gonna share later in the call, but I'm gonna go ahead and start sharing those right now. And also um, anything you wanna make sure you share, Don, uh, we'll do that while we're waiting for Jacob to come back on. Okay, sounds good. All right. So another new thing in addition to the advice engine, and I mean, this isn't brand new, but I know a lot of members don't know about this resource. If you go to our website, and you go to um, more member services, there is an option called Mortgage Coach Strategies. And what we have done here is we have taken some of what we think are our best teaching examples, our most inspirational mortgage strategy interviews. So these are coming from our YouTube channel. And then we are packaging them. You know, like for example, we're gonna try to show this one. If you wanna get more referrals from financial planners, we highly recommend that you watch this interview with Craig Strand, and we highly recommend that you learn how to show a 30 year versus a 15 year, but show it in a way that a financial planner is gonna love and show it in a way that creates an epiphany for a home buyer. So for anyone that watched this, Craig just does a spectacular job, gets most of his business from financial planners, and he does a great job of using Mortgage Coach to show, hey, you know, what if you took that 30 year loan but you made the payment of the 15 year loan. So, so you were net neutral on your monthly payment, but what would happen over, you know, um, 180 months, what would happen over different windows of time from a net worth perspective, if you, you took the 30 year loan, you paid it like the 15 year loan. And so just a great example. And one of the things that makes this super powerful is let's face it, financial planners don't think the best strategy is selling off your assets and you know making a bigger down payment or paying a loan like 15 years. They think that, hey, you should leverage your tax benefits. You should leverage, if you have them, you should, you should leverage your investment and your arbitrage, and, and this is a better strategy. So Jacob will share that when he gets back in. And and Don, if you could let me know when Jacob gets back in, just so I'm aware of it, just while I'm talking and sharing. Any, any questions on that? And feel free to post questions down below. Also. Yeah, he's, he's still not on, Jake. Okay, no problem. Also want to showcase the mortgage strategy list. So I'm on number 48. If you are unfamiliar with our mortgage strategies, this is where you become familiar with them. Uh, I label each one of them, but this was a great one. This is the one I talked about when I kicked off today's call about how to use the mortgage coach rent versus own analysis as a social marketing 
um, as, a, as a social marketing trigger to get first time home buyers to call you and to educate them so you're adding more value to your realtors. Uh, if this is another great one, one of my favorite ones in the past month with Amber, Amber Kovark. If you haven't checked that out, check out this one. And okay. oh, we got Jacob back, or we almost have Jacob back. Guys, give me a second to just try to get Jacob back just on trying. the call. Hey guys, are you able to hear me now? There we go. Boom, you're back. Yeah, I got kicked off like four times and then it told me I could not come back. It did not <laughs> want me on this call. So I'm joining through an incognito browser right now so it doesn't know it's me. Uh, so hopefully this, uh, this will all still work. All right. I have a well, question. You... Go ahead and share your screen and bring in the question, Don. All right, we have a question from Emina, I believe that's, a, that's his name. What's your YouTube link? So if you go out to YouTube and you search for Mortgage Coach, uh, you'll find the Mortgage Coach channel. And then I would just ask that you make that, you subscribe to the channel and you'll get all of our um, updates as they load them every day. So again, that's Mortgage Coach on the YouTube channel. Yeah, and you can Google it, Mortgage Coach YouTube channel. Uh, and also, if you're new to the Mortgage Coach community, make sure you subscribe to our Facebook group, Mortgage Coach Productivity Mastermind. Uh, Jacob, you want to share your screen? I'll let you know when I see it. Sure thing. All right. Let's try this again. And boom. All right. And we're Wait. back into the advice engine. Are you seeing that? Yep. Okay, good deal. All right, now, have, have, uh, were you guys able to hear the rest of my conversation on the down payment options, or do we need to recap any of this? Maybe the last minute or two. Okay. So it was pretty straightforward in terms of what was being shown here. Um, we've got different, you know, obviously different purchase prices with the same low down payment option. Then she went for a higher purchase price with a low down payment option, and then the opposite end of the spectrum, which is lower purchase price, higher down payment. Um, so what I was saying at the very end, I think when I got cut off was that I really like the strategy of, you know, these two options here are probably going to be the ones that fit the most for the client during their shopping experience. But having these other options available really opens their eyes that there might actually be more potential for different types of loans that they're not aware of or different, different loan amounts that they didn't think they'd qualify for. Or in the case of this last one, you know, maybe they thought that 5% down was really the max of what they could bring in. But when they look at it on paper, this 20% down loan option actually saves them a bunch of interest over the long term and maybe a good idea for them. So when we get to things like the analysis screen, we can really see where this comes into play. You can see $55,000 savings in interest as compared to that 500, uh, 5% down. If we were just looking at the 400K comparison, you know, the, 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 difference between these two is still about $30,000 in interest. So uh, pretty significant. And then I'm not sure if you guys uh, heard some of this stuff about the tool tips, but there are tool tips everywhere in here. So for instance, if you don't understand how the, sh the short term savings is being generated, hover your mouse over it. It's going to give you this tool tip over to the right here that tells you exactly how we calculate that total cost uh, area. So hopefully that's helpful. And I'll pass that back to you, Dave. Hey, Jacob, while we wait for Dave to come back online, um, if you could just bring your screen back up. And uh, while this isn't necessarily a strategy, it is a very cool new feature that allows you to actually record a video and preview and highlight right without having to go to the end of the application, um, but right there in the upper right, right hand corner. Thanks for chiming in, Don. I thought I got kicked off again. I thought I was talking oh. to myself in the last two minutes, so I appreciate <laughs> you. So yeah, good, good poll. A um, couple of the new items in here that you might not be aware of and something that people have been asking for for a long time is the ability to get to a preview or a video recording without having to go to the very end of the wizard, hit the presentation area, hit the preview area, generate the link and then hit add audio video. You can actually do it now from anywhere inside of the wizard format here. 
Uh, there's buttons up at the top right here where you can do a preview and highlight, which basically just opens a highlightable preview. Or you can do the record video. It opens the same report, it just also has the recording prompts on it. So when you, when you click on one of those buttons, it's gonna ask you uh, if there was multiple types of presentations that it could have been. For instance, if you uh, had a rent versus own client, it would ask you if you wanted to do it on the rent versus own. In this case, I've only got one attached to this client. So when I hit OK, this is going to open the preview of the presentation, but it's also going to do, it's going to ask me a specific question. How do you want to record your video? Well, if I want to do it in the web browser, it's going to trigger the webcam. If you want to do it in the mobile app, uh, and some of you may not be aware that this even exists, but if you click in mobile app and you've ever logged into the Mortgage Coach app on your phone, you're gonna get a notification that's in your drop-down notifications at the top of your phone saying, hey, you've got a recording ready to go, uh, click here to initiate. And when you do that, it's gonna open up your Mortgage Coach app, it's gonna pull over to the camera area and you can simply hit record and start recording. So don't even need to log in when you're there on your phone. Uh, you can simply send the request from the browser to your phone as long as you've logged in at some point in the past. For today though, uh, I'll just choose in web browser. You notice it's gonna ask you if you can use your microphone and your camera. So you hit allow and then you come up in the screen there. Uh, some best practices for video real quick here. Try and keep it under two minutes. Try and maintain eye contact with the camera. Those are the two biggest things I can, uh, I can tell you. And then from a critical element, you know, understand that everybody's gonna make some mistakes on their videos and actually makes the videos a little bit better. So don't do 35 takes trying to get it absolutely perfect. Just hit the record button and start talking to your client while, like they're there in front of you or like they're uh, on the other side of the phone. You know, like you're leaving them a voice message. You know, hi, Mr. Client. You know, we talked a little bit earlier today about the different types of down payment options. And uh, I wanted to put them all on a presentation for you so you can see not only the payments, but the short and long-term impacts of each one. Uh, make sure to click the more info buttons behind each one of the graphs so you can see all the detailed numbers. But I know you're going to have questions when you're done viewing this, so make sure to give me a call. Thanks for your time. Have a great day. Click hey, Jacob. that. Jacob, we had a question come in. And the question is, how do you get welcome to beta? And also, are we compatible with Android? And I've answered the fact that we most definitely are compatible with Android. And is there still an opportunity for anyone to get into beta? Yes, it is actually an open beta. So uh, if you log into Mortgage Coach, so just go to your, your regular version that you're used to getting into. I'll try this again and hope I don't get booted off. And then once you get in at the very bottom, uh, you're gonna see an area that will allow you to switch over. And then I'm gonna show you one more place as soon as I'm done with this. So when you, when you first log in here, there's gonna be a link at the very bottom that says try our new advice engine. And when you click on that one, it's gonna automatically log you into the new version. If you don't see this link for some reason, and it's certainly possible, you can always go to our mortgagecoach.com website Go under member services and you'll see that there's a new link here called Mortgage Coach Beta. That's the advice engine. When you click on that, it's going to take you straight over to the advice engine. And it's going to, uh, one of the most notable features here is you can store your login and password here. So put your login in once and your password, hit remember me, and it'll actually store a cookie on your computer so that the next time you come back here, it's going to log you in automatically. So, and folks, you actually need to, I think Jacob, this is right, in order to make sure it remembers your computer, you have to log in from the front. Like if you click the try beta, it's not going to remember you every time. Is that right? That is absolutely right, Dave. Good poll there. Yeah, the, the try beta, we're doing something kind of magical in the background to pass over a credential for you. So it's not going to actually store in the browser until you input it the first time and hit that, that checkbox to store your password. But remember, in a couple of weeks, we're going to make this live. So when you log into Mortgage Coach, this is what you'll log into. For now, it's optional. But I'll, I'll tell you what, man, everybody I've shown it to is like, wow, mind blowing. Uh, when I demoed it to Denise Donahue after our public, you know, mortgage strategy interview, she loved what you're showing right now, Jacob, where you could, uh, you know, see the DI, you know, the, the DT and the points and all the information cash to close right there. She, she loved that feature. And she said, my team is going to love that feature. So Jacob, let's do this. Let's do an interest rate options because let's face it, we're in a, a heavy competitive market and a lot of the most successful loan officers in America. And Denise talked about how she does interest rate options. They'll, they'll show like, hey, you're, you're, we're getting you pre-approved. Let me show you different interest rate options. 
Now, different loan officers come at it from different perspectives. Denise does it almost like, hey, I can get you any interest rate. Which one do you want? And she shows different rates with different payments. Jeremy Forcier, when I interviewed Jeremy, he's like, you know, I always show them, hey, here's the rate today. And then I show them like three-eighths to a quarter lower, three-eighths to a quarter higher. So I'm showing them a range of rates. So this is a best practice. Lots of top mortgage coach loan officers use this at pre-approvals. If you could show us that. And then let's also show some speed tips and talk about the strategy templates a little bit. All right, perfect. Well, since I don't have a rate options report here, I'm going to create this one on the fly and you guys can see exactly how fast this can be done. Uh, so first thing first, I'm making this a marketing report because it's not specific to a borrower. However, if you wanted to put borrower information, leave it as individual. Um, marketing, just so you know what this does, it, it uses a headline instead of a first name. And then it also hides the subject property information. So if you're trying to steer clear of the application process, marketing is a great way to go. But next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my goals and I'm going to select to purchase a home. I'm going to go to assumptions and put in my, my purchase price, so 500. And I'm going to jump straight over to my loan products and I'm going to start using templates. So um, let's say that this one is, uh, this one's going to be just a conventional 30 fixed. And I'll add a product from one of my templates. So uh, let's see, there's my 30 fixed 20% down. Now this fills out most of the most of the items for me. So and when we're doing a rate comparison here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in maybe my, my par rate in front. So see if I can get them at 4.375 right now. My, uh, my template did everything for me in terms of the closing costs and the monthly costs, so I don't have to do anything with that. I'm simply gonna add another product, and now I'm gonna start using the copy button. So copy from, copy that conventional 30, and do this one at uh, 30 fixed at 4.8, well, let's do 4.75. And then all I'm gonna do is come down here and change this and then go to the end of this guy and let's add one more product. I'll use the copy button again. And this one would be 30 fixed and let's do it at five and an eighth. Oops. That space looks a lot bigger to me. All right, so we'll put in our rate here. And again, because I copied everything, all my closing costs are in there. Really don't have to mess with those. My monthly costs are all in there. Now I've just got three different rates for the same thing. Now, if there was, uh, if there was different factors to make, you, to make you get this rate, say for instance, uh, this five and an eighth actually gives them a rebate uh, because they're taking a higher cost, you can actually put those in the negative points section. So. So negative 0.5, and now I've got a half a point rebate going back, and you can see that's 2,000 on the negative going back to the borrower. Um, at 4.75, you know, that's my, uh, my secondary option. So let's say that that's probably at par, and then my 4.375, if we get this lower rate, it's gonna cost them an extra half a point. So I'll put a half a point in there. So now on this single analysis, I'm representing three totally different types of rates that they can get, what the costs are associated with those rates, and what the interest does over time. And then I can simply, like I did before, go to record video, uh, pop a video on there, and then share it out with my borrowers. Back to you, Dave. So, so guys, anybody watching this in Facebook Live, whether you're watching it live, whether you're watching the recording, Put any questions, any comments. What do you like best about the advice engine? What questions do you have? But, you know, when I did my opening, I made a case that this is what families expect. So this is, this is no longer just a competitive advantage. This is really what a family expects when getting mortgage advice. If they haven't got a total cost analysis, they just don't know it yet. But one of my, one of my favorite testimonials so far for the year came in from an actual customer. He was a borrower. Um, he was a Marine officer and what he emailed to his loan officer that helped him was, thank you so much for the amazing advice. That total cost analysis thing was amazing. In fact, all I could think about is how I wanted to go back to the last two lenders that have helped me and punch them in the face. So it's like when someone sees this, when they know this and they see it, this is what the expectation is. So again, we're making it easier than ever to learn we're making it easier than ever to create a total cost analysis. Uh, someone just pinged me, like, how do I get started with Mortgage Coach? We'll put a link in chat. So if you wanna sign up for Mortgage Coach, you can just do it all online. 
It's $90 a month, um, no, no commitment. Uh, if you are with a company that has us integrated into your technology platform, you can do it through your admin. And you can email support at mortgagecoach.com just to make sure that we make signing up easy. So if you're already with a company that has this integrated into Optimal Blue or your CRM, let your, you know, your company admin know and feel free to email support at mortgagecoach.com. And if you are an individual loan officer or a broker out there, $90 a month, we'll put a link down below to make it easy for you guys to sign up. Um, Jacob, I, while you were gone, you probably didn't see it, but I showed um, an example of like, hey, if you delivered a mortgage coach at the point of sale, and remember, you want to create a client for life. And so I used that Brian Manning example where he is showing multiple prepayment options. Would you mind um, showcasing that real quick so they can see like, hey, this is how I win at the point of sale. And this is how I get maximized referrals and create a client for life. Can you show that one? Sure, absolutely. So uh, with the post-close options report, one of the cool parts about this is that you don't need to pre-qualify any new loans. You're just giving them some advice on what they can do with the loan that you just closed. So most importantly here, um, you want to make sure that in the assumptions you don't check or in the goals, you don't check the, the purchase one. Check anything else, but not the purchase one because uh, that will eliminate the current mortgage. But the part of the setup here that you need to be aware of is that you got to set up the mortgage that you just closed with them. So in the assumptions area, you're going to put in a current mortgage. You know, you can see when the first payment date was. Um, put in their interest rate, their term, and the remaining balance will automatically count for you. But since you just closed it, it's, you know, they may not have even made their first payment yet. But um, what, uh, what Brian's doing on his is after he's got this, this current mortgage in there, he's going over to the new product slots. And what he's doing is he's just copying the current mortgage into these new product slots. So you do copy from another product, select current, and then it is copy the current mortgage into that slot. And you do that repeatedly because I'm going to show different options for how they can put extra money into principal each month. But technically these loan products are all identical. So I go to the second product, do the same thing. Copy from current, third product, copy from current, fourth product, same thing. Then when I get to the analysis screen where this magic really happens is inside the reinvestment strategy grid. So when you, when you pop this open, now you're going to put whatever amounts of money that you've indicated going back to principal, you're going to put it in these boxes up at the top. And you can see that by doing these extra investments here, you're shaving their freedom point. So this one's a year old. So 28.83 uh, is their current freedom point. That's when the loan's going to be paid off. But if they put an extra $100 in principal every month, now they've shaved it down to 25. And as they go further, you can see that eventually 21.58 years with that $250 uh, investment. So this is really just opening your borrower's eyes into, you know, we've closed this transaction. You know, I know I got you the best loan but I want to show you some options where you can further streamline and save even more money for yourself over time. So, and obviously the point of this report is not to try and close another transaction right away. It's to, it's to show that you're, you're caring about the loan process even after close, which a lot of people, other people out there aren't doing and it gets to the client for life conversation. So Dave, I'll pass that back to you. So rubber guys, put your questions in. So I, I know before this is out, we've got what about, um, 18 minutes left. I want to make sure that we show the financial platter strategy, the 30 versus 15, because it's just raining refis right now, Jacob, let's make sure we get a refi scenario in. Um, so if you could pull up a, a refi strategy and guys, you should be getting after it. Dan Keller crushed it. He shared a lot of different ways he uses mortgage coach to generate refis. So let's do a refi example and then let's do the 30 versus 15 to close it. Uh, and remember, guys, I'm putting a link for you to sign up in chat. Uh, and if you have questions, let us know what they are. Hey, Dave. We do have yeah. some questions about the last strategy that Jacob showed. And I don't know if you'd like to walk through that now or go keep let's, going forward. Let's, be, let's make sure we get this refi analysis of these two strategies. Okay. And then let's do Q&A at the end. See how much time All we right. have left. Thanks, Don. All right, so refinances are actually kind of similar to what we just looked at with the, uh, uh, the current mortgage review. Um, the difference is with this one, you're gonna be showing uh, some potential refinance opportunities. So just like the last one in the goals, I'm gonna select lower my interest rate or something other than a purchase option. 
then I'm going to input their current mortgage. So put as much as you can in here. You know, if you, uh, if you know all this information, it's great. If you don't know some of it, it's okay. Um, the most important thing to have on here, uh, if you're not going to show the current mortgage, is going to be the remaining balance because that's going to generate the cash to close on the new refi options. But part of the power of this report is showing what their current mortgage is and how it looks against their new refi options. So try and get this information in there. Uh, it's going to try and calculate it out for you as you continue putting more in. Uh, but then when you get to your new refi options, uh, the cool thing about refis is that all you have to do is flip the switch. So no, then yes. And then it's going to pull in the, the correct loan amount to pay off their current payoff amount. So now any closing costs that you add to this are going to be basically on top. Right now, this is a zero cash to close, zero cash out. You can see because I don't have any uh, closing costs on here. I've got my rate and term and so forth. And then I need to come in and put some, some closing costs on here. So I'll select one of my templates. And then if you have enough room on the debt to income ratios, you can actually finance these, these costs in. So if you want to keep this as zero cash to close, you still can. You can do that by doing add all fees to the loan amount. It just checks all these boxes for you. Then you hit apply to loan and now all those fees are financed in. So I still have a zero cash out, zero cash to close, but this has increased my loan amount. You can see I'm up at 236 now. So one of the very powerful features of having the loan amount and the cash to close uh, right here in this main screen. Now, the next option that I'm showing them, this is just a simple rate and term refi, is I'm showing them that same mortgage, the new, new refi, but just with an extra principal payment. So I did copy from, I'm gonna copy that lower rate option. And then these two are now identical. So what I'm gonna do is go to my analysis screen and say, okay, I know that I'm saving you money with these, so what am I doing with this extra money? Well, I'm putting this 148.88 that I'm saving you as a result of this refi straight back into the mortgage for you each month. That's going to result in a freedom point of 23.83. You're making the same payment as you were on your current mortgage. You're just paying off your loan much faster and saving a boatload of interest over time. Now, this isn't your only option, just so you know. So instead of putting it into principal reduction, you can see when I tab off that field, I'm back at a 30-year freedom point again. Um, I can put that straight back into a new investment vehicle. So if I'm working with a CPA or financial planner or something, uh, and I can get a better rate of return than a savings account, I might put that money right here and develop them a long-term asset. And when you do that, this is going to automatically do the calculations to figure out what that asset will grow to in the years you specify for the long term. So if you're going to show something like that, interest in MI is always a powerful option to show. And I'm going to actually go back in the next real quick just so I can refresh the graphs. Interest in MI is a powerful thing to show here. But when you're talking about doing a, uh, an, a reinvestment into an outside vehicle, uh, you generally want to show net worth for your long term. And the reason is you'll see that that orange area is actually the liquid asset that you've developed for them over this period of time. So not only could I save you on a rate and term refi, I can save you 10 grand over 15 years. But on this one, I can still save you that same 10 grand over 15 years. And I'm going to build you some, some, a liquid asset out of that for the retirement conversation that we were having or your kid going to college or whatever the case may be. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the rest of it is just like any other report. You're gonna generate the link, record your video on it, and send it out. So guys, there's just so much loan in your past customer database. You need to call them. You need to deliver a total cost analysis. You highly recommend you create a video and you send this out to your past customer database saying, hey, would you like me to do a TCA? And you just, I mean, it could just be a one minute video that, hey, I'd love to, show you your break-even analysis on a TCA. So get after it with this particular strategy. Uh, Jacob, I think this is a good setup for the 15 versus 30, which would be a strategy that you'd want to take to every financial planner you know. So Craig Strett does a great job of putting sales strategy around this, how he explains it to financial planners, how he explains it to financial planners' clients. But if you could at least show the TCA and show everybody how to create it. Sure thing. So um, let's dive in there. And you can see in this case, I just the first name I actually used a marketing headline uh, is 30 or 15 better for you. Um, and then all I'm doing is I'm showing a 30 year term. So there's just a standard 30 year fix at 20% down. I'm comparing it against a 15 year term. So you can see it's obviously going to have a higher payment. 
And then I'm showing a third option, which is kind of a mid-level option, what to do with that, that money you know, between the two. So in this case, I did 30 year with extra payment and uh, I went to the analysis grid, opened up the reinvestment strategy. And you can see, I initially have the extra principal up here at in principal reduction. However, I could also move this down to the bottom and have it grow at a better rate. And then what, uh, what Craig does is he takes it a step further. You see right now I'm at 15 years here uh, for my long term. So obviously the 15 year note would be paid off. Um, my 30 year note still has 15 more years on it. Uh, but if I really want to show the power of what happens to the extra money after payoff, um, I can actually take and push this out to 30 years. And Craig is really good on the reinvestment strategy. So he knows that after 15 years, when this mortgage insurance or when this mortgage pays off, you got that entire mortgage payment to devote back into your, your liquid asset. So what he does is he goes into the, the reinvestment strategy and says, okay, after 15 years, I have 3262 that I can put straight into this same vehicle. So at 3%, I'll take my investment payment. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually edit this. I don't want this to start at month one. I want this to start at month 181. Hopefully you caught what I just did there, but it was uh, 3262. And then I'm just gonna let that run for the remaining life of the loan. And then uh, actually I just did a one shot there. Let me delete this guy. There we go. I will save that. And you can see that after the 15 year point, since I'm no longer responsible for that 15 year note, I can take the entire payment and just put it straight into my investment vehicle. And at 30 years, I've got 740 grand in the bank by doing this 15 year option instead. So some really powerful options for what to do with, uh, with the extra money on the side, different kind of uh, variables in terms of term lengths. And it's a great conversation to have with a financial planner because obviously it's a big selling point to look at this, uh, this external vehicle as a, as a good investment opportunity. Now, one of the things that's really powerful about these types of presentations, as Dave said, this is one that you can send out to just kind of a blanket audience, right? Uh, so you wanna be able to repurpose this. Now, I'm going to show you where strategy templates come into play. Now, you can see all these are recent clients right now. But if I want to turn one of these into a strategy template, all I have to do is open it up, add a double asterisk in front of the first name, and then go back to my client list. You notice it's gone. It's in the strategy templates area now. You can do this with any of these proposals that we've shown you today. So my rate and term refi, I want to turn this into a strategy template to reuse later. I'm just going to put a double asterisk. Now look at that, I've got three different strategy templates that I can use. Now, why are these important? These are important because you can easily repurpose these. So instead of in the recent client list where you just tap on them and it opens it for editing, when you tap on one of these guys, it's gonna ask you what you wanna do with it. Do you wanna copy it to a new client? Do you wanna edit the template itself? I wanna copy this out to a new client. And then what it's done is it's copied the entire thing and basically I can call this whatever I want. Maybe this is Facebook marketing for CPAs. And because I use that copy function, this entire thing is done. All I have to do is generate my link and put it out where I want to actually put this or share it with the, the audience that I'm looking to capture. Um, so keep that in mind. These strategy templates get really powerful. You can take any form, any past transaction that you've done and turn it into a strategy template very easily by doing the double asterisk thing that I showed you. Or if you don't want to corrupt the original report, you don't want to change that, you can actually make a copy of it. So for instance, so let's say this original report, I didn't want to mess up, but I still wanted to get a strategy template out of the deal. Well, I'm going to do copy analysis and I'm going to do a new client. So this is just a brand new copy of this file. And now I can call this one, whatever I'd like. And when I hit next there, you'll find that in my strategy templates now, there's the new one that I just copied off the other uh, existing borrower file without messing up the original. So guys, you, I know you love that feature. I've seen the boom, the bang. If you're watching this on Facebook and you like this new feature, let us know what you think about it. Also let us know what kind of strategy templates you're planning to do with it. So we'd love to know how you're gonna use, use this new feature. So I'm gonna share a few closing thoughts and then we're gonna close up with some, some uh, Q and A. So, so yes, everybody, I did get the all in from Bill Hart. You know, I'm a big fan of his podcast, All In. I believe every loan officer should 
go all in with a mortgage coach, deliver every borrower, every family, every lead a mortgage coach report. I do believe if you're a branch manager, all your loan officers should be all in with mortgage coach. If you're a regional leader, all your loan officers should be all in with mortgage coach. If you're a CEO, go all in with mortgage coach. So not only does it help you convert more at the front end, but here's a great example. This is Wally Elderberry, last in 20, in 2017, he closed 21 loans from his past customer database. You know, by the way, that's a lot of loans. That's good, that's 6 million in loans. But all he did is started doing annual reviews. He's always used Mortgage Coach at the front end, but he started using it on the back end to create clients for life. 82 loans in 2018, $23 million in, in, um, in loan production because he went all in on the backside. So this strategy from Brian Mania, I hope you guys got it. You know, add options, do a post-closing. Everybody should have a strategy template around this. Like that was our gift to make creating a total cost analysis faster. Have a prepayment options, post-closing, client for life TCA. Every family gets this at the close of escrow. Cause, Cause here's the deal. Think about it. We checked it off the box, convenience. You know, value, quality, immediacy, localization, you know, choices, advice, personalization, accessibility, everything you need to be the obvious choice you have if you go from fee worksheet. Remember, average loan officers lose over 18 basis points annually by delivering fee worksheets. Most loan officers aren't the obvious choice at the point of sale because they're delivering fee worksheets. If you use Mortgage Coach, you have less price exceptions than your peers and you close more loans because you're the obvious choice. So if you're on this call and you have not already become part of the Mortgage Coach revolution, if you're not one of the 34% of the best loan officers in America that use Mortgage Coach, get signed up. We put a link down below. The best loan officers, top lenders, 40% of the top 10 lenders in the country have built Mortgage Coach into their platform. Many of the top 20 have built Mortgage Coach in their platform. And, and guys, we wanna get you on the team. So if you're watching this and you're not a Mortgage Coach member, we've put a link in the Facebook chat, sign up. And if you work for a company that has Mortgage Coach built into their platform, let your admin know today. So, so Jacob, why don't you pull up um, uh, the advice engine again? And then Don, I know you have some questions uh, before Don asks the first question, I want to tell you, like, if we don't get to it today, every Thursday we do Q&A. So there's always a place to get your questions answered. Every single day of the week, we do live training. You can email your question to support at mortgagecoach.com. So we'll get your question answered. Uh, Don, ask the first one, and let's see how many we can do in the next four minutes. Okay, sounds good. Uh, there is a question about affordability versus expenditure. Jacob um, says, I'm in the new website. I don't have the lower right tab. Under affordability, I have expenditure. And it looks like a couple of people that. It just says expenditure. Whoa. So they're not seeing affordability at all? Only expenditure? They, they see affordability. It's, they just don't see. Well, no, it says it's not under affordability. It just says expenditure. Yeah, we'd have to get a screenshot of that to know what we're talking about there. Um, if you could send that note over to our support team with a screenshot of what you're seeing, I'm sure we can get it resolved. I can tell you one thing, though, is that uh, most issues inside the advice engine, you know, if you guys have been longtime members, you know that uh, one of the biggest things that always helps in the old legacy product was clear your cache, close the browser, reopen it, start it, start it all over again. You don't have to do that in this new platform. Uh, this is actually a no-cache no platform. So what it does is if you want to fix something, just hit the refresh button. This is going to reload your browser. It's also going to pull in the latest version of the Mortgage Coach Advice Engine. So if it's been a little while uh, since you've been in here and you haven't done a refresh, try doing that. Try hitting the refresh button and then uh, check and see if it's been uh, if it's been altered for you. Um, notice also that there's little carrots next to a lot of these. So um, sometimes they'll be broken out if you've tapped on a specific area, but uh, these carrots will break them out and close them back up again. But try giving that a shot. If it doesn't work and you're still seeing something kind of wacky, it doesn't look like what we're having here, um, make sure to let our support team know and I'm sure that they can help. Yep, so I think that if you, uh, if you could just demonstrate the carrot again, Jacob, that might be one of the issues that we're 
that we're seeing there. All right, that's that toggle. Um, there's an, another question that it looks like it might be in our support center. Uh, where did that go? Oh dear. Oh, well, here's one. Is the MCC going to show properly? MCC is available on the top of the standard deduction. Support was working on this. Thank you. He was working with Robert Sierra. Yeah, we'll have to take that up with support. Are there any questions about the product? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can tell you right now, I understand what that question is talking about. Um, the, the idea behind it was that if um, on the mortgage side, if the standard deduction is being used, uh, meaning the mortgage interest isn't enough to exceed the standard deduction and you're using the MCC, the MCC gets tacked on to the standard deduction and it shouldn't. Uh, so I am aware of that. Um, however, that has not yet been addressed in here. Uh, so right now, if the mortgage interest is not sufficient to exceed the standard deduction, they will get standard plus MCC. Okay. Um, here's an easy one. Once we log into the new version, will it always open the, the new version or would you still have to go back to log into the original and click on the link? So right now, if you, it depends on the link you go to. So if you go to the link you're used to, which is edge.mortgagecoach.com, that's still going to take you to legacy for right now. Um, in the last part of July, however, that link is going to start taking you here. So uh, we will be cutting it over. You'll still have breadcrumbs to get back. So for instance, you can see at the bottom here, there's always a link to go back to the legacy version. If uh, for some reason you're running into something that you can't solve and you just got to get back to the familiar, there is a crutch there. It's going to be there for a little while longer. So don't worry, we're not just going to take it away cold turkey, um, but you can jump between the two. Um, alternatively, and what, I, what I've been telling people to do is once you get into the advice engine, um, this link here up at the top is actually the one you want to store. So if you just add this to your favorites, then you'll always be in the advice engine when you come in. Um, like I said, though, at the end of July, we are going to be cutting it over. So if you go to edge.mortgagecoach.com, it's going to redirect you to the advice engine first. And if you still want to get the legacy, you can always use this link to jump back over to legacy. And All which, right, guys. Oh, okay, just real quick, which browsers does the new advice engine support? Uh, great question. So the recommended browser is Chrome. Uh, but if you can't use Chrome, it's okay. Uh, you can still use the latest versions of Firefox. You can use Microsoft Edge. Uh, you can use Internet Explorer 11 and above. Anything older than Inter Internet Explorer 11, you're going to land on the legacy version because it doesn't support these new functionalities. So just keep that in mind. Uh, Safari will also run this. Um, I would say the only, the only browser you will ever run into trouble with right now is Internet Explorer because it's actually been discontinued. They, they haven't been doing any updates for it for a long time. I know that some of us are tied to Internet Explorer because our LOS requires it, so I totally understand the pain point there. Um, but if you can open a Chrome browser, you're going to be guaranteed to always have the latest and greatest in what browser technology can do for you. Guys, this has been an awesome call. Thank you for all the feedback everyone on the call. Uh, if you did get value from this, give it a like. I think this is a good call for some of you managers to play back with your loan officers, uh, study some of the strategies that we did, engage with our mortgage strategy playlist in YouTube. Uh, if you're a new loan officer, you know, I've seen a lot of engagement in our Facebook group lately about, hey, I'm new to the business or I'm hiring a new loan officer using mortgage coach. This is how you become better. This is how you learn how to deliver advice, not just price. Uh, hopefully I made a, we, we made a case for going all in, every family getting a total cost analysis, every loan officer in your branch using mortgage coach. Um, Jacob, you crushed it. Don, thank you for everything you brought to today's call. Any last comments from either of you before we wrap it up? You know, Dave, there is one other thing that we didn't really talk about today, and I just wanted to make sure everybody knows about this. Um, on the right side bar, when you're inside the, uh, the editor here, there's a calendar that, that has our daily trainings on it. So if you want to register for any of the live training we do all day, um, make sure to make a note of that area. And then you may not realize this, but the Rate Watch playlist is in here as well. So those uh, same alerts you get every morning with Dan and Doug giving you commentary in video format, it's all available here too. And it's a playlist, so you can still go through the playlist and view whatever commentaries you want. 
And then, of course, there are the Tuesday interviews like today. This is a playlist of every Tuesday. So if you just want to go back and visit a previous Tuesday interview, it's right here in the toolbox. So just wanted to make sure you guys were all aware of that. Thank you so much for your time today. And uh, thanks, Dave, for bringing me on. All right. Hey, take care, everybody. Hope you got a lot of value. Have a great day. Bye now.